You know, we haven't spent any time together for a long time. Sure have. Uh, you remember the last time, right? No. Coast, uh, Cabo. Yes, I do. We play pineapple. Did I, did I, we did, did, did I win or lose? Um, if you won, you'd remember and you'd be crowing about it. So <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll give you a hint. But one thing I remember from that Cabo trip is you were on a real strict diet. You took me to some exercise class and laughed at me because I couldn't do the exercises. <laughs> but you were in really good physical shape, probably the best of your life, as far as I remember. Yeah, I just hired a trainer. Yeah, you had a trainer. Yeah. And then you told me, well, you're going to Macau, you're going to try to get in some big games, you're taking off. Of course, you said you'll send for me when you get situated. I still haven't got that call. Um, I'm still getting situated. You're right. You spent all that time on your physical health. Do you, in retrospect, wonder if you spent enough time on your mental health? Um, yeah. Um, I would say that my life was, uh, I had a lot of fun, you know? And um, as far as my mental health, I neglected that for a long time. And um, the last couple of years, I've been, well, the last year and a half, mostly, I've been really focused on my mental health and becoming more conscious and, um, you know, just living a much more healthy lifestyle. Um, you know, so now I'm meditating a lot, I'm praying, mm -hmm. I'm doing yoga, and um, you know, I'm thinking of ways to be of help to other people. And um, you know, that's my life these days. Well, part of it is, and I think we all go through this, your life when you were younger was about making money. It was about playing poker, businesses, making money, that was your whole focus. Well, the thing is, when I was younger, you know, I, I, I don't come from money. Mm -hmm. So when, when I was younger, all I thought about was making money, you're right. And I made money, my God. I thought that if I made a certain amount of money and I had material things, that that would make me happy. So what happens is when you get these things, you realize at some point, well, wait a second, I'm still not happy. Even though I was successful, I never actually felt successful. So there was a lot of things that you know I needed to deal with along the way and that I'm still dealing with now. Uh, and it's, you know, it's been a great, it's been a hell of a journey. I wouldn't change anything. I don't have, I could really say, honestly, I don't have any regrets. Um, I've made a lot of changes in the last year and a half and I'm, I'm, I'm in a real, real good place right now. One thing I wanted to get to is you're out in Asia. Have you been playing more live poker, more online poker? I don't even know. Yeah, uh, I, I've been, I was playing live over there in Macau. Right. To be clear. And, um, you know, I play uh, some online as well. Okay, well, so how much uh, ch how much Cantonese or Mandarin do you know? Oh, uh, well, I, almost zero. I know, I know a few of the curse words I'm not gonna say, because <laughs> you hear those at the poker table. Um, I, yeah, I, I, it's almost embarrassing. So you can't uh, even bluff or trash it's, talk it's, in, it's, in Chinese? I can say some curse words, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. For one, they play a lot longer. I mean, um, Asian players are just stronger as far as like staying awake a long time and playing at like, you know, a decent level for the, uh, the hours that they put in. Mm -hmm. It really is amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm talking like, you know, like, you know, you get six guys at a table, five of them could stay up for three days and look fine. Well, I don't know if you remember, you know, and, when I won most of my money, uh, it was because I was rested and other people weren't. Okay, because uh, this interview's not about you, by the way. No. Talk about the online gambling. I know you're with Poker King now. Yeah, I'm with Poker King. So, uh, what's the deal there? What's that site? I uh, have played with uh, the owners, and they're um, they're two guys that are that absolutely love poker. Mm -hmm. You know, they play for hours upon hours at a time, and they don't have to. You know, they're 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 they're, they're businessmen, but that you you can feel how much they love poker and how much they appreciate it, and how much they want to do good things in poker. You know, um, you know, so that's important for me because you know I can. You know, I have lots of opportunities that come up and you know, I've passed on. And you know, when you hear about their plans, you know, like I met with the, uh, the, the head of the security uh, team and the different ideas they have and how they want to protect the integrity of the game. And for me, it's really important that I feel so much energy. And that's what I felt with these guys. And um, 
it's nice to be a part of their team and I'm looking to do big things. You, you know, you brought security. You know, whenever you talk to people who haven't played online, that's one of the things they bring up. Hey, can't you get cheated if you play online? If you play online, people could collude. What I always try to tell them, it's actually safer than live poker. It's easier to get cheated live. I've been cheated several times live. Mm -hmm. uh, I've even had a situation where people have come in at gunpoint and <laughs> oh, uh, robbed right. rob, 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 rob the place. But um, so personally, I think online is safer because uh, there's, you know, you have the player history, you have people monitoring it, you have uh, different uh, preventative measures that they're that, that they're taking. Uh, Poker King especially is working religiously around the clock. The guys that they hired are are top top in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, we just discussed in detail, as a matter of fact, last night the different uh, security measures that they were taking. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to you know be a part of the Poker King family, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to working with them. I can tell you this one thing though, yeah. that in uh, seriousness, that you was very motivating for me when I went to your house in Palo Alto. That was one of the most motivating things I've ever seen. I mean, this is the biggest house I've ever been in in my it life. It must have been because I didn't I live just, in Palo Alto. No, but no where, where would you live? Uh, it's called Palos Verdes. Oh yeah, when I went to your house in Palos Verdes, excuse me. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, and I went there with my uh, ex-wife, and I was like, wow, this is this is amazing, and I and I, and I just couldn't believe you got all that from poker. Mm -hmm. um, and that was very, very, very motivating to me. I mean, I'm not as sharp as I was when I was younger, as I'm sure you're going to remind me. But I've got bad news for you too. <laughs> and that is, when you're in your 20s and 30s, as you see, your processing power is really good. You figure out things really quickly. Now you're in your 40s, and it's you slowed down, whether you want to admit it or not, but you have experience, and that carries you through. But the good news is, what you don't realize is that you can regain that alertness through different uh, exercise, meditation, and work. That's the thing, like right now, well, that's to, to, be, to, to, to be honest, yeah. right now I feel more alert and present than I, I probably ever have. Okay, and it's beca because of like, you know. Well, you're gonna be telling me, let's see once you hit 50, and you start going on that other yeah, side, yeah, yeah. and the processing speed goes down. Well, this Tell is, me then. You know, I was in my prime in my 42, you knew but, me but, then. but also, Barry, you don't do anything. You're not exercising, you're not, you're not. No, you're I not, do you know, exercise. I'm not like, doing like some what? of the mental things. No, no, I, I do. Like we what? don't have to get into it. Yeah, why not? Uh, I work out, I have bands. I work out with bands. Oh, you have bands, oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I'm starting to run. No, I don't e All right. exercise as hard as you. I think, I'm in pretty, He's I think I'm in pretty good shape yeah. for some of my age, actually. No, you were in good shape because you have good genetics and you've always been thin. You know what I mean? But being in shape and being ment in mental shape, like we talked about in the beginning, is two different things. We're gonna see if you prove that you're right. Yeah, we'll let's see. Let's see if you stick it out, and let's see if it worked for you. Yeah, we'll see. And let's see yeah, when you're 55, how hopefully, sharp you are. Hopefully it does. Yeah.